hey guys it's blue and i'm back with the video for you so today we have sky here so before i start i love sky but the thing she's done lately it's been crazy but we are not here to talk about what she's done we are here to talk about her and her stylist they have a little beef going on so here i'm going to read you what the stylist said so there was a post going around um about sky saying if fuck them kids was a person and then her stylist posted real life junkie this lady a bum Stop thinking because people famous, like everyone knows of them, got money. Because they don't. The next post says, every hairstylist in Miami know you a bum. It's a proven fact. Okay, who chile? This is a lot going on. So I think she's trying to say that she's done this to a lot of people before, which I hope not because I really do love Sky. She has been going through a lot with her sons, and the things she did say to her sons was very hurtful, but we're not talking about that right now. I'm sorry, y'all. It's so hard to talk about that. We're going to get back to this video. Okay, so the next screenshot, here you see somebody asks, LOL, when Jonathan Megan Stylist did her hair the other day, I was like, I hope you get paid. Her ex stylist goes on to say, no, he did that for free, and Kendra's Boutique provided the wig for free. This guy's a junkie. Y'all deaf or... And then she said, they want a shout out. Ho fucking pay me my fuck, fuck a shout out. So I'm guessing Sky says, if you do my hair, I'll give you a shout out. But she wants money. Okay, so how I feel about this is y'all had an agreement before. Like either it was money or a shout out. I just want to know if the agreement was for her to pay you money. And then out of nowhere, she was like, oh, no, I'm going to give you a shout out. But if y'all already agreed for a shout out, which I doubt, because she's snapping right now. So I doubt she agreed for a shout out in the first place. I feel like Sky probably said, I'll pay you. And then when it came time to pay, she was just like, oop, shout out. I'm going to tag you. And she was like, no. <laughs> then people in her comments were adding on. So I guess someone said, I stopped working for the show as well. The conditions you have to work in when dealing with her aren't worth it at all. And then she said, exactly. People scared to speak. Fuck them, okay? So I'm guessing Sky, they're saying that Sky is just a horrible person to work with. Which saddens me because I thought Sky was so cool. And someone else proceeded to say, Sky is a bum. I didn't audition for this bullshit ass clothing store to walk in the runway, but instead wanted me to come there to hand out my shit, basically slay, but not pay me. Get the fuck out of here. Talking about that's good networking. That hoe only had 10 clothes hanged up in that bitch. And then she said, exactly. People be scared to expose them because others won't work with you. Bitch, I made six figures before I even knew the bum existed. One then asked, did she ever pay you back? Then she said, how? If she's a junkie. Then another person said, I remember when she reached out for me to do her nails. But she didn't want to pay. Never got a response from me. Exactly. Every time people ask for money, she disappears. A bitch might as well be a magician. I ain't gonna lie, that last line was funny as shit. But I guess we're seeing a pattern here with Sky wanting to get services done but not wanting to pay. And someone asks, wait, wasn't you doing her hair? What happened that fast? Then she says, even after I told her I got a daughter, I flew to New York with that bitch for five days. I left on the fourth day once I realized the junkie. She has no money. I worked with her for months. She owes me so much. It's always the network will pay you. This bitch did a one way to New York. They had to wait to get paid to fly back. I wind up leaving there because I did a round trip. That was my last straw. Whoa. At this point, the stylist is claiming that she had no money to get back home. She had to wait till she got paid and how she's a bum and all this. So she's making very strong allegations here. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's false. Do not shoot the messenger. I'm just saying what she said. But if this is true... This is crazy to me because this does not sound like Sky at all. Hey, we do not personally know Sky. All we do is see our TV screen. This lady has personally met Sky. I'm assuming people are now in her comments with hate comments. So she's saying, don't get blocked on my page defending a junkie, stuff like this. Then someone said that they posted about her post on a blog site and she won't be getting any more free hairstyles. But she says that, yes, she will be getting free hairstyles from Jonathan. So, here's the post. It says, After this week's Black Ink episode, Sky's ex hairstyle sounds off. The beef between the two started when Sky refused to pay for services. Instead, thought because who she was would pay the debt off. And so, here's my opinion on this. If they had a deal for money to be the way the lady got paid, that is a deal. A deal is a deal. People can't, like... I understand her shouting her out would get her more clientele, would get her more money, but... 
if I'm doing your hair, I want show money. Like, we all got bills to pay. And when there's bills due, the cars due, all that, a shout out ain't shit. This video off, we're gonna read some comments from that post. I don't respect Scott at all. She's the reason her kids are so messed up and acting out. I feel so bad for them. Dora said the crew gives her drinks all day. She does drugs all day, and they do that because she's more entertaining, high, and drunk, and I believe every last word. I'm confused. Don't Beyonce pay her hairstylist? Who the fuck do you think you are? Ghetto and poor. Dora Musk was a stylist. Miami, don't play. I already spoke my mind about how I feel about this topic, but I want y'all to comment, and I want to hear what y'all say about it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want more. Thank you for watching, and I love y'all. Bye!